Today, we are finally going to organize my manga collection. As you can see by the disaster on the desk right here and the complete and utter disaster on this bookshelf, my manga collection is in complete disarray. It is not organized chaos, it is just complete and utter chaos. So for the first time in history, I'm going to organize my manga collection and on top of that, we're also gonna build this bookshelf because I have ran out of room on my first shelf so it is time to add a second shelf to the family. So let's go ahead and build this shelf and then we can get to organizing my collection. Okay, we have switched over to phone view. I hope the audio is still okay compared to my mic, but we are going to go ahead and jump into building this bookshelf. I built the first one right here. Unfortunately, they didn't have that brand in stock. I think it was just like discontinued. So hopefully this bookshelf doesn't just fall down one day. Now I'm not gonna lie, this bookshelf is a lot more expensive than a bookshelf that you can get at like Ikea or Target. And I highly recommend those. I'll throw them up on screen right now. The only reason I got this one specifically is because it supposedly matches the one that I already have. If I didn't already have this bookshelf and feel the need to match my bookshelves, then I would 100% have gotten the ones from Target or Ikea because it saves you money and you can get more manga that way. This is my dog, Levi. If you guys haven't seen him before, I guess he wants to help build the shelf. Honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. It's just gonna be a little bit time consuming. So we have all the pieces here. We have my dog. We have the instructions, which honestly, I don't usually read instructions, but I feel like it's probably necessary for this. We have our toolkits, and I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. So let's queue up the building montage and we can get to it. Well, I was feeling myself because I put this together, the first piece of the puzzle. And of course, it was wrong. I didn't realize that some of them have legs and that these two are the top half. So we're back to square one. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I built both of these and then next steps. It's actually not that many steps. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. So we're two out of eight. We're one fourth of the way there. Next, we have to connect the boards to the frame. Okay, last time I did this, it came out wildly uneven. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. We're making progress. This part's actually not as bad as I remember, but we'll see what happens when I have to connect it to the other side. <laughs> Okay, excuse the mess, I'm sorry, but this is one half done. We just have to connect the other side and then I think we're chilling. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have two out of the five panels screwed in and this is where I am praying that things do not go wrong because I am honestly like the worst person ever in making sure that things are straight and aligned. And if this is not straight, I am going to cry. I do not want to reassemble this at all. So pray for me, please. All right, it's time, the moment of truth. Let's stand it up and pray that it is even and can hold some manga. Oh my gosh, we have failed. I put these on the wrong way to put the supporting bar on. Do we really need this? Do we really need this? I have to take one of these off, flip it around, take it off all of these wood panels and then put it back on. It's gonna take like the whole time it took to build. What if we just uh, don't put heavy manga on there, right? That, that should be fine. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm leaving it like this. If it falls and hits me over the head while I'm recording one day, then, then so be it. Uh, let's take all the manga off the shelf, off my desk, and then I'm gonna start organizing it. Then we'll put it up on the shelves and hope that it doesn't fall. Okay, so all of my manga is off of the shelf and I have a lot more than I thought, my gosh. So I'm gonna attempt to organize these in alphabetical order and then I might split them up between light novel and manga and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so here are light novels, which I don't know if they're gonna get their own shelf because I don't have that many. And despite what this looks like, it's in semi-alphabetical order. 
have them all grouped by first letter. So let's go ahead and start getting these on the shelf. Okay, so this is the finished product. And I think it's looking pretty nice aside from these sparse shelves down here. What do you think about it? Do you think it's good? Yeah? Okay, good. So I do wanna go through real quick and just like touch on some manga. Now I did just talk about Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost. I have read a decent amount of manga since my last review. So I wanted to just quickly mention some of them. Catch These Hands was one of them. Now this was actually a pleasantly surprising story. It is about the main character getting into a lot of fights in high school. And then she meets her rival later on in life as she's feeling pretty down about herself as everybody's kind of gotten a career and moved on in life. And she's just still kind of a delinquent moving from part-time job to part-time job just doesn't know what she wants to do with her life the girl that used to be her rival ends up confessing to her that she has a crush on her and things kind of move on from there it's a really good story i think i like the main character and it's definitely worth a read if you like romance chainsaw man i still have to get to cutie and the beast now this i had high hopes for i don't know if i just wasn't in the mood or what but i didn't particularly enjoy the first volume i will give it another chance because i feel like it's not fair to just give a manga one chance and then that's it i feel like you have to read at least two but this i don't know i just had higher hopes for it i have yet to read dangers of my heart and days on fest Donuts Under the Crescent Moon. Now, I read this a couple months ago, I think, and it's very, very good. If you like girls love stories, then you will love this. It is actually really, really good. I would highly recommend it. Doro de Doro. This is a very unpleasant... This is a very unlikely, not unpleasant, very unlikely pickup for me, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Fire Punch, I still have to get into, but the issue is, like, it's very hard to come across these. So I'm just waiting till I get more. And if you see like any big series where I just have like one or two volumes and I haven't talked about them, that's the reason is I'm just waiting till I get more so I don't have to like buy one and wait. Like Goodnight Pun Pun, for example, I wanna get all of them before I jump into it. Happy Kanako's Killer Life. Now I read this recently and it was pretty enjoyable. It's actually a color manga as well. It's about a girl who just gets fired from her job and takes on a job as an assassin. And she's actually very good at it. The issue with this story, which was kind of funny at first was the mangaka throws in like a bunch of puns all the time and when i say all the time i mean like literally all of the time there's a pun on pretty much every page which at first was entertaining but after a while let's just focus on the story please but i will read the second one <laughs> just because it had a good premise for sure girl from the other side i actually just read like a couple days ago it's a very unique story compared to most manga i think it definitely separates itself and i'm actually really excited to see where the story goes the artwork is very different the dialogue is different it also has like a decent in-depth plot as well so i'm definitely going to pick up the next few volumes just to see where this story goes because it also ended on a cliffhanger as well hard to kind of receive now this is a very very unlikely good story i bought it because it's about the world of beach volleyball and i was like what could possibly be interesting about this it's very good the characters are very well developed i would recommend giving it a read now i haven't read any of these yet uh, moving on, what have we not talked about? So I did read both of No Matter What You Say, Furisan Eskere. I read the second volume right away and I really enjoy this story. First was okay to me, but the second just picked up momentum and I cannot wait for more because I, I really enjoy Furi as a character and I can't wait to see where the story goes. Right. So One Piece, I'm thinking about getting rid of this and collecting the box sets or just the individual volumes because they're so beautiful compared to these in my opinion. I don't love the big volumes. I just bought it because I could read more at once, but eh. I think I'm gonna get rid of it to start collecting the singles. Now, Our Teachers Are Dating, I haven't read the second volume yet, but the first is like literally the most pure, beautiful love story of all time. Like if you just wanna be uplifted and just be happy and watch two people in love be happy, like it'll bring you out of any bad mood, I think. Please put them on Takamine-san. I read this a while ago. It's about Takamine who has a power where she takes off her underwear, I think. I honestly don't really recollect it too much. She can like reverse time and they really feed into the trope. It's, it's an okay story. Uh, I would like to read more just to like see if it gets better, but yeah. Ragnar Crimson was very good. Rainbow and Black, I would definitely recommend. It's just a very enjoyable read. And Sakamoto Days, I really want to get into. It seems like a very good shonen. Now, this is my sad light novel section. I said my goal like repeatedly was to read more light novels this year, but I am having an extremely hard time getting into them. I cannot lie. Like I can't even pick them up. It's very hard. So one day, one day, 
Now, when will Ayumu make his move? I'm actually almost fully caught up. I think I just have to read volume four, which is out now. I really like this story. I know I didn't give it too many kind words in the beginning after volume one, but I gave it a second try and I even gave it a third try and it's really good. I love Ayumu and also Yatome. They're really good characters and I like their relationship a lot. I think the second and third volume do the story a lot more justice. It's really sweet as well. And there's good comedic elements too. Zom 100, I have to get back into this because I loved volume one and two and I'm not gonna lie I kind of just like forgot to continue it and I'm, I have all the volumes that are out so I have to keep reading this at some point Sinar football as well it was a little bit underwhelming that's why I haven't continued it yet skip and loafer great great manga highly recommend spy family I have to continue I'm not fully caught up yet I know the anime is out but I'm just gonna read the manga for now uh, sweat and soap I, I want to continue more because if I'm not mistaken I think this manga is actually done so before I read it, I want to pick up more. So about Hanako, Kun, same thing. Takane and Hana, I heard is very, very good. So I can't wait to jump into this story. Unicorns aren't horny, I have to pick up the second volume. Ah, that's a very weird story. Vinland Saga, and then when will Ayumu make his move? So yeah, that is that is my collection. I, I like it. I think it's it's got a decent variety and I'm going to continue to kind of branch out into other genres as well. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and something a little bit different, but the manga collection is looking very, very organized. Bleach box set chilling at the bottom too, but uh, this was long overdue and needed. So yeah, um, next video, uh, I'm, honestly, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm, I have finals coming up and a couple other things going on so i'll definitely get a video out as soon as possible i hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you enjoy whatever you are reading or currently picking up pray for this wobbly shelf because i don't know how long it's gonna make it but i'll see you next time